Kalit na kalit yung music, kasi kalit na kalit yung apat na team, kasi sila ang apat na nabitira na uh, sila ang magkikipagpakpakan sa ating semifinal run. Umpisahan natin sa dalawang pinakamatatanda sa mga eskwelahan natin dito sa Pilipinas, ang UST laban sa Ateneo. Wow, UAAP finale yung apat, ano ha? Uh -huh. So, eto na, magkakaalaman na uh, who which team will move into the finals. Tama ka dyan. Ito, magandang labanan. Kita naman natin, of course, uh, these two teams met. Alam natin, um, unblemished ang record ng Ateneo. Pero, pag pumapasok na tayo sa ganitong parte ng ating tournament, nagbabago-bago lahat yan. Of course, uh, UST wanting to get that win against Ateneo. Ang Ateneo naman, iba rin ang pakay. Yes, indeed. And this is total preparation for their upcoming tournament. But of course, first things first, they wanna win here. We have a sort of checklist uh, that we wanna observe for both teams. Let's start with the Lady Eagles. And for the Lady Eagles, they have a couple of things that they need to do to keep that unblemished record. Well, of course, we know ito yung mga matutulog na pangalan sa UST. And it's all about marking Tunay, Lastimosa, and Laura. These are the top scorers of the Golden Tigresses. Ang isa pa sa kailangan nilang gawin is to keep holding each other on defense. Eh? And we know that in any other sport, talagang depensa, very important yan. And finally, keep USD guessing on who will score because at, as it is, ngayon nakikita natin, maganda ang distribution ng Ateneo and that's something that they should uh, continue. Ang sabi nga ni Dindin Santiago, eh, ang hirap, ang mga advantage sa atin ay eh, nagtutulungan sila. Ayan, nagsasayawan pa nga yung mga yan. Pag-usapan naman natin ang mga taga-Espanya, ang uh, Tigresses ng uh, UST. At meron din tayong agenda para sa kanila. Well, for them, it's all about keeping the ball in place. Eh. Bang, alam natin minsan na uh, nangyayari dyan, napapatayan sila ng bola. But first thing they need to do, buhay ng bola. Second is to mark other Ateneo scorers outside of Valdez. Alam natin, we mentioned this earlier, well distributed ang place itong Ateneo. So it's not all about Eliza. Kailangan nilang tignan kung saan dadali ng setter ng bola. And finally, don't get easily frustrated. This is all about attitude. And we know that, you know, volleyball as a sport, kailangan mental and ano yan, emotional. Kailangan magandang control. And uh, if you're UST, you don't want to suddenly make those campfires, which is the tendency of the Trigestress. Pag nagkaklam up sila, napoprostate sila, they hope they can get their offense going here today. Anong mindset ng players before we take our first break here? Ano yung iniisip ng players kagabi pa? Well, ito, I think, dapat very positive, ano. For, for UST, they know they're, they're going up against an unbeaten team. Kailangan dyan, very positive mindset. Kailangan na uh, uh, mature ang pagpasok nila sa larong ito. Well said, Anne. And we will have this game, the semifinals of the Shakey's B League. It'll be Ateneo against UST very shortly here in the place where it all started. Introducing our officials for this match. First referee, Liberato Benito Jr., international referee. Our second referee, Rodrigo Rojas, national referee. And now for the starting lineup of the Lady Eagles. Number 15, Joanna Maraginot. Number 16, Amy Ahumiro. Number 7, Giselle Tan. Number 14, Bea De Leon. Number 18, Kim Hegeliana. And their team captain, number 2, Eliza Valdez. Their starting libero, number 8, Ella De Jesus. Their head coach, Coach Anusor Tai Bunde. And now for the starting lineup of the Golden Tigresses. Number 17, Lisa Chopin. Number 15, Jesse Lang de Leon. Number 8, Carmela Tuna. Number 18, Maribig Meneses. Number 9, EJ Lauren. And their team captain, number six, Pamela Lastimosa. Their starting libero, number 11, Patricia Rasmo. And their head coach, Emilio Coach Kung Fu Reyes Jr. To all the volleyball fans here in the arena and to all the viewers of GMA News TV, let's get it on!
Okay, just about ready to put the volleyball into play. But uh, you know it's college season. USD and their yellow jackets. We're going to have a party here. Now, the important thing, interesting you see, Eliza Tiope is going to be the center. Mm -hmm. Sabi mo ng warm-up, matangkat na center. But I don't know, her experience will be put at test here today. That's right. Of course, height will always be an advantage. We keep on talking about this. Ano, pag ang center mo matangkat, advantage on sa blocking. Uh, pero, of course, a big chunk of what the setter does is really delivering the play. So, you're right, Sim. We'll, we'll see uh, kung ano magiging discard niya sa laban sa Ateneo. Later on, our reports will come uh, via the uh, travels of Cristel Bachelor, who has uh, surveyed both teams, and we'll get her report after our first technical timeout. In the meantime, service belongs to the Lady Eagles. Maragino who is beginning to uh, show signs that uh, maybe she could inherit the uh, position that Eliza Valdez will give up when she ends her eligibility to the Lady Eagles this college season. First point belongs to USD. De Leon all set to serve. Pagka may mga drums na, alam mo nang college season is oh, malapit na. Nagpa-practice na rin pati mga pep squad. Yup, indeed. In the meantime, Eliza Valdez battling uh, together with Lastimosa in the front line. Here is Tan. There's a joss and a drop. Giselle Tan has gotten so much seasoning and experience in the absence of Gia Murado. Murado who sat out this tournament because of an injury. It's good when you have at least one extra good setter. Chope with a good set. Well done. Nice play. That's uh, Meneses with a quick hit. Isa pa rin tong si uh, Meneses. Ano? We've seen her progress and uh, develop over the years. In the meantime, Carmela Tunay, who also got injured in the course of this conference, gets her serve crawling on the net. Valdez is rejected. Take a second look. Marcado si Eliza. She knows that. And USD must have prepared so much for that. And we have from our... Uh, scouts here that USC train three hours daily from Monday to Friday, but the coverage will have to be there. Well, they, nothing like a good rival to uh, get you off started for your volleyball weekend. There's uh, somebody I, I think with a flash in the audience being uh, told, uh, please. Uh, be gentle to the players. Nakakailang yan, ha? Nakakailang at uh, syempre dito ang bola natin palagi nasa ere. Yes, that's a good point. In the meantime, Ella de Jesus, her reception resulted in a regalo for Meneses. Meneses, starting off uh, for USD Hot. Nakadalawang puntos na. Two out of the four points of USD courtesy of uh, Meneses. To those following on Twitter, you can uh, use our hashtag V League semis all caps live. In the meantime, here's a slap by Gekiliano, which is too long, and USD with a very good start, 5-2. It has worked for USD here at the start of the first set. Mati pa yung kanilang blocking at nagigilang yung uh, opensa ng Ateneo. First time these two teams met, it started our conference. Eliza Valdez did not play. Ateneo still winning that match. Another regalo, but not capitalized upon. Minesa strikes. It's down, but up. Kept in play by the excellent efforts of Giselle Tan. Down the middle with Laure. Nice drop, but it is out. Boy, there's a clear intensity on the faces of the players. Huh? Both sides want to win. 3-5 here as Eliza Valdez will serve. Ooh. Ooh. What a strong serve from Eliza. Yan ang maganda yung mga floater. Yan mahirap ang from the point of view of the players. Kung you know? lumulutang yan, you think it's going one way. Then it changes direction all of a sudden. 4-5, long. Oh. 
clearly on its way out. In SS will serve. Don't forget BLD3 Ultra Fast LTE for a happy family with speeds up to 10 Mbps, monthly internet for as low as 999 pesos. Minessa served wide. Could have been a good opportunity to build some more momentum for UST. Don Reyes coaching uh, early on. He's in the corner. Taibundit in his familiar dance floor. Here's Bea de Leon and her serve. Rasmo is there as the libero. Laure. Great drop. And P.O.P. has uh, been trying to go for more combination plays. Ano? Making sure that he lahat sa open lang niya sineset. I think that's the way to beat Ateneo. Keep them busy. Keep them busy. Let them lose their confidence. And that's why we mentioned earlier that you have to keep the ball in play if you're UST. That is awful. That is awfully picked up. And Maratino acknowledging the mistake. We have our first technical timeout. UST ahead. I was talking about this hashtag, which you can do, uh, use rather, to follow us. Uh, let's go to Chriselle. USD's main setter, Alex Cabanos, is back today after spending a month of internship in Bataan. She only used to train every Friday, but now she's back regularly, and her main goal is to get back into shape and get her court senses back. Meanwhile, the indefatigable Ateneo Lady Eagles vowed to keep their winning record clean. For the past week, they had morning and afternoon practices for three hours each, and this morning they spent one hour stretching and meditating. Seven and? Yep, every day. That's the way to train a team. In the meantime, lively exchange. It is outside 9-5 USD. Sam Samantha here with Anne Ramulia, Band up and Christelle Bachelor. Mukhang may look ang UST, very determined oh. siya I like this look of UST. Uh, kuminsan, they're okay here, but not really here. But here's a nice, determined look from the Tigresses. That is true! But again, it's the coverage that's uh, missing. Nandun yung blocking eh. At uh, napapa they're, they're able to slow down the ball. Alam mo, Rasmo, we'll have to find out that we discover very quickly she has to be yeah. right there. Tutusok siya dapat ng konti. Samantala, nandito si Kim Gekiliana. Shakey's for Fun Family Pizza. Gotta be Shakey's. Set. De Leon! You know what's helping USD here in the first set is maganda ang kanilang first ball. Most of it, diretso agad sa setter. That is such a good point as we check out this ultra fast part. Ultra fast LTE for a happy family. You know, you, you out there, you're probably so used to us saying the first ball must be good. Just look how USD is doing it. That's what ex exactly what Ad is talking about. However, that is out of reach as Ahomiro drills it into the empty spot. Now they have Ahomiro and Valdez in front. For Ateneo, that's a full front line. In the meantime, the serve will belong to Maraginot. Here's Rasmo. It becomes a set. Tunay attacks. Tina goes here, Liza. Tina asked the USD. Tunay. Long. Oh, USD has to make sure that this run by Ateneo won't rattle them in any way. Yes. That's why we said also earlier, they shouldn't get frustrated. There's a tendency for USD. When they lose their momentum, their grip on the game, they become sad. Depressed. Oh, oh, and they oh. have to kick out of it. Uh -huh. And uh, yun, kitang-kita talaga sa galaw nila. Oh, yeah. When that happens also, they get frustrated. Carmela saying, pabawi ako, pabawi ako, sabi niya kay Tiope. And, uh, mahirap pag yung error, nagiging metro din ng taxi because you're up against a team like Ateneo and they will take advantage of, of all these things. Yung metro naman ng Ateneo, ma-under din. 7, 8, 9, last 3 points have belonged to them. They lose out of this one. It's USD by 2. You know, USD has no choice. They gotta look Ateneo in the eye and mean business here today. Here comes De Leon and her serve. Casual, easy, over the net. Tan, Ahumiro. Lauren with a one-handed pickup. 
and not exactly the best dig if you're uh, E.J. Lowry. You need your, both of your hands to keep it in play. Watch this. It's all about keeping the ball alive and it's gotta be difficult. Mahirap humabol ng bola palabas. Tsaka dapat playable. Oh, oh. Two hands on it and we're tied. Ngayon, ang nagiging problema ng USD, it's about getting that uh, ball up. They need to organize themselves tamang position so that they don't overlap each other. Don't forget that Axel is our official outfitter here at the Shake East Valley. Mukhang masama na first ball, ha? After kanina, maganda yung first ball nila. That is a power hit. No question, and Ateneo in the lead. Last three points have been all by the Lady Eagles. Now, you have to arrest this if you're USD. You have to stop this now. You have to play defense here. And they have to do it now. Because now. they can't now. let Ateneo take a much bigger lead than this. Really sloppy. Passing. At uh, ito, kulang sa pag-uusap. I think we'll hear a bit of that in this huddle requested by Coach Kung Fu. She's wondering what's happening, but <laughs> I, I think also she knows. In the meantime, tama si Kung Fu eh, no? Wala namang ginagawa atin na yun eh. Sila gumagawa ng sarangilang butas eh. Oo, oh. And uh, kanina pang nagiging problema. It's not about their offense, it's no. really about uh, coverage. It's about getting the first ball. Ateneo has scored the last five points. Oh boy, make that the last six. You gotta keep your composure. USD was leading earlier at 11-9. The Nathaniel caught fire, or rather, USD started dropping the ball. And you see the sudden shift, the no? oh, oh, energy, oh, oh. Your intensity. Now, you gotta dig better. Tiope with the set. And it's outside. And boy, the confidence of USD is just shot at this point. It is now a 16-11 second set. More Shaky Speed League after this. Glad we can be part of your Saturday afternoon. In fact, we can also be part of your Sunday afternoon. In the meantime, uh, Father Ben Nembres, the former president of Ateneo, watching the Lady Eagles. 16-11, 16-12. What is happening now to USD? The USD first things first, nag-umpisa yan sa reception. They're just really grumbling and unable to turn things around immediately. Pag merong nag-commit ng error, bawi dapat agad uh, yun. Uh, they're uh, unable to do that. Ang volleyball is a kind of game. Huwag mong patagalin yung masama eh. Oh, you cannot oh, dwell. Well. Oh, now, USD has to do a better job in reading the place of uh, Ateneo. Ang hilig ng Ateneo, pag umikot, alam mong kay Quick somewhere eh. Andiyan na si Bea. Okay, o open kay Gikiliana, bigla na lang. Andiyan pa si Aliza Sarap. Pinaas ni Carmela Tuna. Here comes Pan Lastimosa. Nice take by Tan. Block! Meneses back in that. And Bea de Leon apologizing to Riri that he uh, had kicked uh, Meneses actually. But all good, sabi ni Meneses. Magka, sa national team yan sa youth eh, no? Yeah, so the, again, these players, they all know each other. Yeah. And they hang out with each other. They're yeah. just opponents on the court. 
Ganun mo talaga sa volleyball. I don't know why. Na magkakalaban, magkakaibigan. Oo, oh, ngayon nga, yung mga nakakasama ko sa mga leagues, so, diba? Dating ah. mga kalaban na schools. Yung, bang, yung mga, nung nag-five sets tayo ng isang araw dito, yung grupo nung... UP. Yung, UP, no? Kilala-kilala ka nila, eh. Oo. Oh, oh. At may team din kami alumni. Ah. At ngayon at nasa. Ay, oh. ganda. <laughs> ganda. Laurie! No! It's a lie! It's a lie! Ooh! And Deleon says, okay, that's it. <laughs> and that's quick. That's how quick you have to be. Ultra pass five, ultra pass indeed. Ultra pass LTE for a happy family. And Tai Bundet not exactly happy over that development. His team in the lead but has lost the last two points. Here's the serve by Cabanos, uh, who was reported by Cristel earlier, saved by Ateneo. Set him job. Oh, uh, net touch. Net touch, and it belongs to USD. But Cabanos doing a good job. If Campbell, yan, ano? I mean, coming from a fast play, binibigay niya na hindi open lang. Nagagalaw niya ang kanyang uh, center spiker. Si Alex Cabanos is more experienced uh, season. Ganun ang pangalan niya, Alexine. Alexine. Parang prinsesa ang pangalan. Oh, yeah. out of reach. The last four points have been all USD. Let's listen to Ateneo's timeout. You know that timeout was not was not to say anything actually. It was just to calm down the team. Uh, he had nothing to say that hurt. Sometimes that's all you need, eh? Break the momentum kung nandura sa kabilang side. Don't forget, sundan ang all-out bulita nila Alisa, Nika, Rachel, Ara, Jaja, Tintin, John Craig, and Peter, and the rest of the volleyball friends of Viber Public Chat. Just go to the Public Chat tab, say in Viber app search, and start following your volleyball friends. In the meantime, Alisa Valdez. Set up job by Cabanos. Lauren! <laughs> We have a dog fight here. We're tied at 17. For as long as UFC continues to enjoy the game. And they're back in business. Yes. They've scored the last five points. Ateneo was leading 17-12 earlier. We're now tied at 17. And Cabanos has been serving for quite a while now. Yes, indeed. Strike in play. Palaisa. Eliza Valdez, you know, just a simple porciento player. When you need points with the Mikasa official ball of the Shakey's Vili. Serve in play, Carmela Tunay. Cabanos, nice back set. Bang! Cabanos right now making all the right decisions. I agree. Tied at 18. First change for the Ateneo lineup. Bekiliana will go out. And number 20, Tianko William, their guest player, will report in for the first time. On the other side, Cortez is in. Pineses is brought down. Sandoval actually coming in to serve. Okay. Mukhang si Riri ay sa libero play um exit. Okay, that's okay, correct. Kailangan ng uh, isa pang depensa sa likod. Yes, indeed. The drop. And this has happened also earlier where nakita natin ang laki ng buta sa gitna ng uh, USD defense. This is what they have to do less of, creating those campfires. I don't know. Ang laki, oh. Hello. It was wide open. And Eliza has learned how to spot those open spots, eh. Uh, dati hindi niya pinapalo lang niya dati yan. Kaya na niya basahin niya. 
19 apiece. Glad you're with us here on GMA News TV. You're watching the semifinal round of the Collegiate Conference of the Shakies, Vili Laure. Tan Long. And UST is back in the lead. USD earlier led when they were ahead 11 to 9. Then Ateneo scored six straight points, and now USD is back in business. Looks long, it is. We're tied at 20. Ang service mo rito dapat walang nervous eh. No? Oh, dapat yeah. uh... this stretch of the game. Yep. Here's Chanko. Ooh, Ooh. Short. And USD is ahead 21 20. Tiope Lastimosa back in. Shakey's the place to go to for fun, family and pizza. It's gotta be Shakey's. Kung Fu Reyes trying to voice operate his team, trying to keep them motivated. The part of coaching is keep the passions alive. Kasi po, eh, ang tendency, ang lagi niyang sinasabi na didinig ko eh, hindi na kayo nag-uusap. Ah, Humiro! Ramo, Ra Rasmus said, gotcha! Gianco! The kick set! Ooh. Oh! <laughs> that one bounced out. Ano bakit importante sa larong balibar? Nag-uusap yung players. Well, you, there are six players on the court, ano? You can't second guess kung sino bang kukuha. Dapat alam din nyo kung anong igagalo ng isa. And you only have three chances, yes, eh, no? Yes, so, oh, Three touches yan. In the meantime, Maraginot with her serve, which is wasted. Both teams feeling a bit of the tension. In the meantime, Meneses, yes, it's actually, Anne was correct. Sandoval came in for Meneses. Sandoval is now drawn out. 22-21. And here's Jesse De Leon. Inantay talaga eh. Set up job. Valdez. Wow. Marcato si Valdez. At alam mong pinag-aralan ng USD, ano? Take a look at that again. And you, you, you see her asking for the set ano, from Tan. Ako'y litong-lito. Pumapalo ang yellow jackets ng USD. Yung mga nagsumusuporta sa atin eh, nakikicheer. Siguro may world peace na nga. 23-21. Sabayan na lang daw nila. Uh, Ella de Jesus is the libera. I failed to mention that. Carmela with a good dig. Set up job. Ahomiro! No blockers there for Ahomiro. And Amy can be a killer once she's in her spot. Watch this. Mina malaking factor. Yung plan, hindi nabasa yung play na yun. Uh, hindi na-expect ng USD yung play na yan. Here's Ahomiro's serve in play. Rasmo, Tiope, Meneses. Becomes a set. De Leon, Rasmo is there. To the other end. Oh! We're tied at 23. <laughs> Kyung Fu Reyes saying, telling his team, cap it, cap it, cap it. You know, you're building character. Eh? Ateneo is used to this. USD for a while was... Oh, and Ahomiro just wastes it. It is now set point USD. Si 
drop it. Ayun. Si Bodlin kinakausap si Yahomero. Here's Carmela Tunay. Valdez. Tan. Down the middle we go. Oh! Yes! Ginawa na lang ng paraan ni Maraginot but saw that opening. Still a very good point. Uh, there was a day here I think I remember, I forget what day. Ang haba lang ng sets. Hindi naman 5 sets, 33, 34. <laughs> oh! Ateneo at 25, 24! Now this is where communication plays a very important role. It's at mind yours, eh. Let's listen in to Kung Fu. You know, if you're UST, you don't want to clam up at this point. You don't want to be tense. It's uh, action packed, uh, it's pressure packed, but you've got to deliver and waste it. Woo! Ateneo being killed by its serve. Ahomiro with an error, Tan with an error. But again, remember for USD, tama si Coach Kung Fu, ano? sila yung nagkukos ng uh, kanilang errors, ng uh, points ng Ateneo. So from this point on, kailangan mag-usap. Each side losing a match point now. Alisa. Meneses. Ella de Jesus is there, the drop! It's that same area that uh, USD can't seem to cover. And and somebody just has to adjust. Oh, that's why Kongo is talking to Rasmo, his libero. And now Ateneo with its second set point. Oh, and Ateneo just... Pushing its nose forward, winning this first set, 27-25. And watch the shaking, shake and play. Right there, Bea de Leon with the rejection and the roof. Back with your second set after this. Okay, back here at the uh, San Juan Arena and uh, take a look at some numbers. You know, some of the errors there have been service errors. Actually, Ateneo just managing to squeeze out the juice from that first set. They were actually down by a set point, but they managed to crawl back and take the first set. That's right. Although, kita natin from the numbers here na pagdating sa atake, lamang na lamang ang Ateneo. I think the great thing about the first set was USD was able to keep themselves as close as, uh, you know, they can be. In fact, yun nga, eh, parang si Sobato lang yung uh, first set. Uh, but uh, how USD lost, it was mainly their lapses pagdating sa kanilang uh, reception or depensa, no? But uh, kaya nilang sabayan ng Ateneo. Yes, they were playing toe to toe. In fact, in the early parts, they led until Ateneo caught fire, and you had pointed out correctly. Now, USD must not allow Ateneo to get this momentum going. That's right. And the one thing that they need to do here in the second set is to really organize themselves. Ang sinasabi natin kanina, if they're put under pressure, ang Ateneo, they can handle themselves and manage it really well. Yes. Pagkaling sa USD, nakikita mo, nakikitulan sila ng konti, and it's how they should snap out of it as quickly as they can. The uh, veterans of USD must step forward here. Sila Carmela Tuna, EJ Lauro is not a rookie anymore. She's a veteran already. They need their veterans to take charge here. In the meantime, Ateneo trying to pass the ball around. Boy, pati yun, nagawa ng point, ano? 
Walang attack yun, ha? Sabi ni Marikinut, bata ko naka-score. <laughs> Hindi nga tusok yun, sir. Yung spike. Pero, sige, tanggap. One all tayo. And now, Humiro, who botched a serve earlier, wanted to hide, actually. It was such a crucial moment. In the meantime, boy, her serve is in... Uh, somewhere in... the Pacific Ocean. In the meantime... Today, unable to scramble for it. It's USD2. De Leon, all set to serve. In play, Yakiliana. Nearly a disastrous dig there. Salvaged by the Lady Eagles. The attack. Yes! And this is what worked for them in the, the first set, ano, yung mga kanina quick sets. And a uh, ultra-fast fight, ultra-fast LTE for a happy family. You know, ang pagdiriwang ng USC, dapat bandan dulo eh. Maaga sila nagsiselebrate uh -huh. eh. And Ateneo adjusts quickly. Tama. Eliza drops it. Even ang drop ni Eliza, parang spike na rin eh. One-handed set! Look at this. This was so masterfully crafted. One handed set. Hindi maganda yung final palo ni Pea de Leon, pero okay yan. Kasi the, the defense was thrown off completely by what Giselle Tan did. 3 2 count. Tan will be serving. She also made a service error during that crucial stretch. Tiope. Mineses missed it. De Leon with fingertips on it. Here is a reverse set. By this! Off the block. Again, for USD, what worked for them earlier was when they were doing more of the quick plays in the middle or kundi man quick. Ito yung mga combination, ano yung mga patong na set. At saka kailangan itaguan mo. Keep at yun na yung guessing. What do you want to do? Can't be too obvious when you play the, the Lady Eagles. Nice block. Good coverage. Blocked! And De Leon relishing the moment. Yan ang uh, masipag dapat sa net. Let me see the Leon has learned to master that position as we remind you that Mikasa is the official ball of the Sheikh is really blocked inside. In that point, you know what I like? What I observed from the Leon was she was counting. One, two, maybe lang. Kasi tinatiming nga niya yung... Uh, 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 spikers sa kabila. It's almost like the way high school coaches teach you how to block. Oh, oh. One, One, two, three. Two, three. Okay, three. Like, up. May timing yan eh. Rotation. Rotation problem ang USD. Two uh, officials spotting it. Score is stable. And now they're clarifying it. Yeah, there's a specific assigned position. But Kung Fu says, okay, uh, no... No argument. We made a mistake. And Ateneo jumping out in front. This is odd. Uh, UST will lead early. Then Ateneo will just catch fire. Maaga nag lead actually in UST Rito at 3 1. That's big lang ito. Six straight points by the Lady Eagles. And now Cabanos. Remember Cabanos earlier when yeah. she in the uh, first set? That's when they had a good run. Let's see if uh, it will repeat itself here in the second. They need the stability of Alex Cabanos, actually. In the meantime, this serve in play, being tracked down. They will adjust. Mines is keeping it alive. Tan De Leon missed, but connected. Gusto nang patayin ni De Leon si Tan. Pinahahaba mo na ako, mahaba na nga ako eh. Technical timeout. Shakey's Wheel League semi-finals. Uh, Christelle Bachelor will have this uh, report. Earlier, Seb, you mentioned about the determination the Golden Tigresses are showing. And it really shows for Coach Kung Fu admitted that their morale is high, having been able to make it to the semi-finals. Gayong Pamari also knows Ateneo is on top of their game. Kaya naman kahit daw hindi nila mahikitan, gusto pa rin nila mapantayan at makipagsabayan. The over at Ateneo's model team captain, Eliza Valdez, urged her teammates to be more consistent this time. Kanina, but 
this time they need to play stronger. Coach Tai also reminded the girls to focus their thinking on the target. Seven, An. Uh, that is exactly right, Christelle. Uh, we'd like to remind you that this is the best of three format. Team that wins two games moves on to the finals. So drawing first blood will be critical here. UST managed to pass uh, to get into the final four as Arellano lost in that game you and I did last weekend. Yep, so this was kind of served on the silver platter. Medyo gano'n, no? Sinuerte pa dahil nakuha ng uh, St. Pinild ang uh, panalo. So no more playoffs. UST was anticipating a playoff against Arellano but it did not materialize because CSB decided to really play in the last three sets. Yakiliana's shot is being bandied about. This one in play. Ella de Jesus beginning to become comfortable as the Ateneo Libero. And Cortez ends up stretching for it. UST has got to do a better job in reading. Ano, yung uh, balik ng bola ng uh, Ateneo. Dal mapadrop. Uh, or palo. Kailangan nakapuesto sila. Yes. I'm just uh, I'm amazed at Ella just being so talented. And she's just beginning to be comfortable in the libero position, when she's actually a spiker. But even uh, as a spiker, she was, uh, in a way, recognized that marunong yeah. siya talaga dumipensa. Marunong sumingit-singit sa mga uh -huh. uh, lugar na hindi kinakailangan yung tao. That's why she, she and then then Lazar were actually helpful when Ateneo was playing defense. In the meantime, Lastimosa serve in play. Yes, and De Leon beginning to feel the groove. Cortez was having a difficult time uh, with defense and reception for yeah. UST. Nakadalawa na yun, ano? Yes, for fun, family, and pizza, it's got to be shakies. Here's De Leon. Nawala yung grittiness ng UST eh. Mm. Yung kagat ng Tiger. Oh, but it's because uh, Ateneo has also taken control. Minimix na nga ng Ateneo yung punches niya eh. Kung ano nang kombinasyon. And scoring off the block, Jekyllana. If you're up against a team like Ateneo, you have to show them that you're not intimidated. Yes, indeed. Again, the oh, see with the blocking and the coverage and everything else not going USD's way. If you just joined us this afternoon, we're set going 27-25 in favor of the Lady Eagles. In the meantime, the Leon wasting the serve. And she's clearly disappointed because of that. Our count is 7-11. Here comes Riri Meneses. Ahumira, Meneses with a good hand on it. Oh, oh. flat. That's a flat connection. Laure. These are the things that uh, they need to get used to, ano? Kapag ka hindi tama or uh, yeah. galing sa setter ang bola. Cabano's now talking to Laure. Trying to build up her confidence. I'm going back to you. I'll try to go back to you. Kabawi tayo. Cabano's, however, this shot is out. It is 13-7. Lady Eagles lead by six. Timeout requested by Kumpu Reyes. Let's try to huddle up as well with them. Ano ba? Sa kanila, sa bola, sa sa Nakikita Okay. Sundan ng all out kulita nila Eliza, Mika, 
Rachel, Ara, Jajet, Dindin, Jamrik, Peter, and the rest of the volleyball friends of Viber Public Chat. Siguradong good vibes when you catch your ultrafan kulitan. Just go to the public chats tab sa inyong Viber app search and start following your volleyball friends. Boy, I love the way Kung Fu communicates. I hope it connects to the players. Uh, uh, yung larong volleyball ay eh, hinahaluan ng pag-iisip. Quote of the day. Well, let's see kung nagising itong uh, Golden Tigers is sa huddle na yun. Kasi Marikinot makes volleyball simple lang. Simple lang. No flourish. Not analyzable this. They're two different people. But she knows how to score. And that's the important thing. Samantala, Kim Gekiliana will be serving. Kim, of course, hails from Bacolod. Natanaw sa atunda sa Bacolod. Maayong uh, hapon pa mo sa inyo da. Uh, Samantala, Gekiliana scoring. And it's not helping itong kanilang mga reception errors. Getting to be too easy for the Lady Eagles. Yeah, and uh, itong si Coach Kung Kung nagpalit na rin ang kanyang uh, libero. Bringing in uh, Hachero. Uh, si Hachero na pinaso. Nice try by Lauren. Now you gotta turn. The Leon. Net, 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 net. Yes, indeed. So the net shields that save it. Ateneo violation. It is now 15 8. Giselle Tan just gave out the signal. Top set. Down the middle we go. Long and flat. Look out, actually. But you're committed. Ahumira rejected, but keeps it in play. Yakiliana is there. Free ball forthcoming. De Leon gets it to go through. And it is now 15 to 9. You know, I sense what Tai Bundit is doing here. He's trying something new. They're trying to... Kasi tingin na... No, USD scores. Tingin na sila na tingin na eh. They're trying something new eh. And uh, of course, now is a good time to do that. So yung mga paghahanda na ginagawa rin nila for their uh, future tournaments, future Ac leagues. Yeah, Axel is our official auditor here in the Shaky Sweet League. They go... To Eliza on the other end. Huli ni Jesse De Leon. Tataas niya ang humirong. Balik kay Valdez. Fiope locates Valdez and it is too long. Ateneo finally reaches the technical timeout. First, we are at 16-10. For the GMA Public Affairs Social Media Information on Facebook and Instagram. Here is Christine Legasto Miller, 17 years old from San Francisco, California. I miss visiting San Francisco. Yeah. The weather. Oh, oh. That's what I love there and uh, dear friends and family there. Sarap and to eat. Sobra ka talaga. Pilip pala yun. Yun yung nasa isip. Pierre 19, Pierre 39. And uh, as face of the game, she uh, receives a box of uh, pizza. Kala ko, tatlong kaon eh. Di mo, tatlong kaon na yung nandun, oh. Sixteen-eleven. In the meantime, uh, here's a serve. Eliza, oh! Oh! So that was a point plus a net violation from USD clearly. That was uh, Ateneos. Ultra pass five, ultra pass LT for a happy family. You know, Eliza just developed that ability to win set in the air. She can direct the spikes now. Lakas, control. Parang as if she's playing badminton in the air. That's what really makes her a very efficient and effective uh, attacker. At saka alam niya kung kailan ni drop yung bola. 17-18, last three points have been all Lady Eagles. Eighteen eleven. 
Ajumiro having problems with the reserve today. Not as clean. 2-9. Oh, that is the fourth touch. Everything not going USD's way here. Well, yeah, let's see what new message Coco Reyes has. LDT, Ultra Pass LTE, for a happy family, speeds up to 10 Mbps, monthly internet rate low, that's 999 pesos. You know, from, from the USD side, kailangan merong isang mag-step up, eh. Somebody uh, just needs to take that leadership role right now na down sila. Tsaka yung setter, kailan pumursento siya, eh. Uh, get, let's get some points. Because, yeah, tama si Kung Fu eh. May, more, wala namang ginagawang unusual oh, na katinayo oh. eh. Tama at kung titignan natin yung numbers kayo yung second set, ano, only two points produced oh. from offense. It's, it's, if you're coach Kung Fu, hindi acceptable yun. To add to that, the really uh, tough blockers of Ateneo. Ito sa kanto na nga kinuha eh. Oh. Eliza there. And, uh, you know, what Ateneo is doing correctly is being consistent. After a very slow start, they've not been unstoppable since then. In the meantime, bungled play. It's an 11-point lead. Boy, confidence is the issue here for USD. Wala silang ano, no? Wala commander in chief. I, I, I miss Abby Marano all of a sudden. Yung ganun tipo. But the... Yun ang kailangan nila ngayon. Eh. You yeah. have to have that attitude yeah. to go fight, up against fight. a team yeah. like uh, Ateneo. Don't forget, for fun, family, and pizza, it's got to be Shakey's. In the meantime, it is 22 to 12. USD finally getting something in. Oh, nice save by Dan. It was a sloppy first ball. Blocked. Nicely done, Ella. Oh, oh overcooked, just slightly overcooked. It had the right thing in mind. Kim was looking for the open zone. The USD defense had already converged at the net, so Gagliano was trying to play long. In the meantime, De Leon. From the middle. Two misses. That was too long. And ito yung mga points in the match na kailangan ni take advantage ng USD. And right now, they have uh, Lastimosa and Tunay, two of their seniors yeah. in front. So a lot is expected from uh, these two. Yep. Sloppy ball handling by the Lady Eagles. It is now four straight points by USD. Ateneo led by as much as 11, a 22-11. Maraginot. Valdez dropping a message. Ella is steady. De Leon! Si De Leon matangkat na, gets high. Has power also, ultra fast bike for ultra fast LD for a happy family. And her happiness comes from scoring big points. Francisco will see action. 
the offense. Double-edged roof there. Blocked! Bella De Leon doing everything. And uh, that's what makes it more difficult for UST. Yung mga ganyang uh, blockers, ano, ganyang tipo ng blockers mula sa Ateneo. Ateneo at set point. Chope. That is out of reach and it is 24-16. De Leon oh. missed it, but it's still a point. The last three points have been all Bella De Leon. Whether solid ang connection or daliri lang ang gagamitin, it's still been Bella De Leon in our shaky second play. We'll have the uh, third set ready for you shortly. Numbers, uh, more than anything else, it's really been a confidence issue and uh, desire issue. Ang ganda ng, 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 disappoint ako ng konti kasi ang ganda ng umpisa na USD with so much, napansin mo yung energy nila, no? Oh. Pero medyo nag-way, nag-ebong, napoprostrate sila. So they need to work themselves up, actually. That's right. And even if you look at the numbers, what happened in the second set, we mentioned this earlier kanina, two points lang ang attacks uh, na naproduce ng USD. They ended the second set with only five. So that's uh, very low. And uh, hindi sila agad naka-recover. You know, there was a stretch when Ateneo was down at 3-1. And they suddenly decided to put their act together. There were seven straight points by the Lady Eagles. Uh, USD needs to cluster the points together. Oh, that's right. And uh, yun nga, eh, when uh, they commit an error, ang nangyari, they crumbled down. Hindi sila nakakabawi agad. And one thing that we had also mentioned, um, uh, sa second set, ano, kailangan ng leader ng uh, UST. Somebody has to really step up. Somebody has to uh, tell the team, oh guys, easy lang tayo, let's compose ourselves. Yeah, yeah, And uh, even the people on Twitter, nag-filter, nag-ano, ano, 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 hashtag, uh, ah, ano nila? League uh, Semis Live, sabi nila nga, yun nga, leader ang kailangan. Oo, oh, oh. isang uh, hatak ng jersey, ayan, Cortez. Yung, sa imek, kakampi kang gano'n dapat, eh. Oh, game, 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 tara, tara, di ba? Yung ingay na yun, yung boses na yun. Ano, yun ang mga teammates na kung minsan sila pa nga yung pinakamaraming practical jokes at pranks uh, as a team. But you need those kinds of players to perk up the energy of the team. In the meantime, it is now 2-1. Uh, so Ahomiro got that to stay in. Don't forget PLDT, Ultrafast LTE for a happy family. Ang speeds ay up to 10 Mbps. Monthly internet for as low as 999 pesos. Cortez. Valdez is rejected. But, out. Sa lakas ng palo ni Eliza, oh. nag-ricochet off the block at lumabas. 3-1. Ahomero uh, has had their struggles with their serve. Parang hindi makalift si Amy. Parang may kulang sa sipa niya. Kulang din sa karga yung uh, uh, kanyang serve. Eh. Again, ito, USD struggling to keep the ball oh, alive. Struggling. Yun na po, nabanggit mo nung umpisa. I have to keep the ball in play eh. Di ba? And uh, if, if you fail to do so, wala. Oh, napakahirap pa wala. kumuha ng puntos niyan. Wala kang, wala kang upensa. Ito, long off. Oh. Ano? Uh, service violation by Ateneo. So it is 4-2. Let's go with Carla Sandoval who's back in the ball game. Carla has been in and out of this match. Ella steady. And that is pounced upon quickly by EJ Nare. Alam 
nabuuan na nunotice ko, si EJ Laura, eh, walang bola. Ha? Hindi nabibigyan oh. sa open. Ha? Hindi siya nabibigyan. Hindi siya makaatake. Actually, looking at uh, the top uh, three scorers in all sets, hindi lumalabas ang kanyang oh. pangalan. Laura Meneses de Leon all have scored five points. If you look at Ateneo on the other hand, ang kanilang top three scorers, of course. Wow, surprisingly, it's uh, de Leon with 14 points. Yeah. Na us Naunahan pa si Valdez. Valdez only with uh, nine. Si Eliza, si check out this ultra fast spike, ultra fast LT for happy family. Par for the course, si, si Eliza, normally, and you expect that for her regardless of whether she's played yeah. for the national team or for Atene or any other team. But Bea de Leon, she's scoring in every which way. Maraginot, yeah. unable to handle that. And uh, like what you mentioned, seven, itong si de Leon, seven at that point, seven block points. Oh, yes. Alam mo, she scores off her blocks. Eh. She makes it an offensive weapon. A defensive weapon to begin with, then it becomes an offensive source for Bea de Leon. This is rejected and touch last as it went out. We're tied at five. Shakey's, the place to go to for fun, family, and pizza. It's got to be Shakey's. What a great angle by Valdez. May lakad ang Ateneo team. Nagmamadali. Pero ito yung sayang, Seve. Because we've seen UST in the first set. Nakita natin kaya nilang sabayan whether or not Ateneo had, you know, a few errors here and there. That should have been enough to boost their confidence. Yes. Cabanos keeping it alive. Laure slaps it. Mukhang free ball, pero inupakan. Laurie! Out! If you just joined us, the first set, or the first two sets, going the way of Ateneo, first set was a nail-biter, 27-25. USD actually got to set point first at 24-23. The second set was all Ateneo, but now we're tied at six here in the third. Yung maraginot may hagupit din, ano? Oo, oh, at saka yung tama ka eh. Not very flashy pagdating sa kanyang mga opensa, but talagang very high percentage. O porsyento rin. O porsyento. <laughs> Parang you get this feeling, okay, mas bayan mo si Eliza, which I respect, sabi niya, but if you give the ball to me, upakan ko. Oo. Oh, oh. Laure. Getting something in, but Ateneo keeping it in play. They will. I thought they'd go back to Laure and De Leon forces Eliza Valdez to somersault. Wala kung kilala ng volleyball player na hindi marunong mag somersault, you know? It's part of fun. Part of the training. No, oh, part yan. Lalo na mga libero, no? Oo. Oh. Happy family yan. Pero si Ellen, hindi pa gumugulong today. Ah. Ang importante kasi dyan, marunong ka pumwesto. Ah. Hindi ka na kailangan gumulong ah. kung nakapwesto ka ng tama. And Ella de Jesus has been doing exactly that. Lady Eagles first at the technical ceasefire. This website uh, for GMA News TV. Christelle, what do you have? Coach Kung Fu instructed the Tigers has to release the tension they are they are feeling inside of them. Naninigas daw kasi sila at nagtatapo ng bola. Pinaalala ni Coach na ang laro ng volleyball ay ginagamitan din ng easy but hindi lang basta banat ng banat. The Ateneo Lady Eagles on the other hand were very composed in the last huddle. Coach Tai credited super senior Ella De Jesus for the leadership she is showing on court. Back to you guys. That's a good point, Christelle. You know, uh, Ella who has also played injured for most part of her career, is now the libero for the Lady Eagles. Eight all is the count here. Now, USD has to make a move right now. Right here, right now. Cabanos. Tan. Yes, USD scoring on the, off the serve. In this uh, lineup, wala ang mga veterano ni uh, Coach Kung Fu. Cabanos had her luck 
in the first set with her serves. They pulled out Lastimosa already. Up, a line. To Mawijin Bola there. Sandoval. Walang tao rin sa pinadala ni Alaysa ng bola. She was just trying to save the ball actually. Mikasa, the official ball of the Shake is really itong ad-lib unit ni Kung Fu. Medyo umabante, no? They have their heads back in the game. 10-8 is the count here. Nice tip. Alive. Oh. Out of reach. <laughs> Pinalakpang ano naman ni Kung Fu kasi may effort. Oh, diba? Importante naman sa nakita mong gumalaw sila at hindi pinanood yung oh, goal lang. Oh, yun ang nakakainis mo kung... Oh. Uh, volleyball player ka, Hoy, manager ka. Nakikita mo, tignan mo na mabagsak oh, lang eh. Wow, pinanood. Yun, may karga. Tinaas. Tinaas. Hinanapan ng pwesto. And again, they forgot na itong si Ahomiro, kaliwete, no? Iba yeah. dapat yung angulo na uh, binablock nila. Ang advantage kasi ng atin, aside from veterans na itong grupo na ito, ang galing magtago ng sino papalo. Mm -hmm. Hindi ba it's so obvious? Mukhang si Eliza. Pero ito, pwede mo itago si Ahumiro, pwede ka mag-back row kay Maraginot. Lakas lang. UST by one. Down in the set count. Two sets to nail. Leon serve in play. Ahumira hooks it over. Cabanas tracks it down. Tan's kidding for it. Back row. Cabanas says, Akin. Sandoval. Maraginot. Kicking set. Oh, that one is long. Si Alaysa Bira manggigil, pero ito nanggigil talaga siya. Ang layo eh. Ang layo eh. Kita mo, libre-libre. Sabi niya, walang blocker. Ang layo ni Mineses. Ito, upakan ko to. Dalawa ang lamang ng Tigresses. Maraginot, turn back to Alaysa. Out pa rin. And USD has a three-point lead. sa USD, ha? Huh? Touch ball yata, check ball yata, 12-11, anyway. Oh, oh, poor reception. You see Laure asking the coach, ano, outside ba? Alam mo si EJ, ang, ang kuminsan mali niya, hindi siya nagda-down eh. That's why, hindi, hindi siya oh. nagagaling, sa taas siya eh, di ba? Nakataas siya. Nakatayo, bago siya bababa. Uh, sa taas siya bababa. You really have to stoop down low in this game. Mineses with a finger on it, Alaysa, ayaw pumasok ng malakas. Kailangan oh. natin. Yun yung mahirap pa, ipa-over, no? Pag kinukuha oh. mo sa ilalim, ah. nasa tabi ka ng net. Yung yung hook mo oh. siya. But there are some players who do that very well, ha? Eh? Yung siyempre, nung pag-gas-gas niya sa net, uhulihin mo, tapos may pectus ano. Pectus to pectus yan, eh. 13, 12, labang ang Lady Eagles. Yes. Oh. And again, malinis na na puntos no para kay Maragino. It's the defense of USD. Kailangan sila pumwesto. Yeah. They don't I think they're beginning to realize, hey, Maragino can score. Ultra fast five, ultra fast LT for a happy family. Kanina pa. No, oh, I think it's Maragino that's at the back. Yeah. So, lots of weapons for the Lady Eagles. Boy, that's problematic. This is beginning to slip away from the Tigresses. Lady Eagles ahead in the set count. Inside. And Poor Laure, judgment by Laure. Laure is having a problem in that spot. Huh? And Ateneo is at the technical ceasefire first.
good place to go to to follow the semifinal phase of the collegiate conference of the Shakey's Billy. Marial Castillo, Janelyn Gutierrez, Janica Gutierrez, sila po ang mga expert waivers po natin. Dapat tawag sa feature na ito, the waving feature. Sila ang ating uh, ultra-fast uh, family. Mabilis silang mag-wave. <laughs> Kasi wala silang, yung t-shirt so solid pag hindi nag-wave. Eh. Eto na, ano bang ginagawa ng UST? They were off to such a good start. Pababa ng pababa, ano, yung kanilang oh, uh, energy. Ah, and uh, they can't find anybody to blame except themselves. 17-12. Cabanos, Laure, in play, Valdez, Cabanos, Vineses, De Leon, tumakalugan na yun, at yun na yun, tumama si Sandoval. Oh, may violation. Boy, I wonder what Kung Fu can say now. They're trying, but they gotta work on their game. Uh, they will have another game against the Lady Eagles, who are just in command of this match. It's a best of three. Winner of the series moves into the finals against the winner of the NUFEU semifinals. It is 19-12. Look at Ateneo, just all smiles. Oh, may tense moments kanina, pero wala na yun. Oo, oh, oh, wala na. They're just shrugging it off. In fact, ang nakaka-disappoint sa UST rin, they were close for the majority of the set, actually. Bigla na lang pumigla sa Katineo and scoring six straight points. Shaky is the place to go to for fun, family, and pizza. It's got to be Shaky Sandoval. That one is out. Wait, again, somebody has to take on that leadership oh, role. That's uh, what they'll have to find in the days ahead. Sundan ang all out kulita ni na Eliza, Mika, Rachel, Ara, G, Jaja, then then at John Vic, Peter. And the rest of the volleyball friends of Viber Public Chat. Sigurada good vibes when you catch your ultra fun coolita. Just go to the Public Chat tab, then your Viber app. Twenty fourteen. Yakeliana. Good stretch by Sandoval. Laurel. It is deflected. Ella. Eliza. Regalo. Touch. Peace error. Oh. Sayang, you know. Nabuhay yung bola. But uh, they're not too careful. Oh, uh, and uh, USD. Now looking for some kind of combination that will work. The last sub was not allowed. Mukhang max na ang uh, no, USD. She, I think she was uh, late, ano? Ihinago know, lang. That was also late, probably. Si Francisco. Pero Shao is in the game. Carmela Tunay is back in. Ateneo uh, pushing itself towards the finish line and to take a one-game-to-nil lead in the series. And Gakiliana tiptoes to score. Too easy. Coach Kung Fu. Sinasabihan na si Sarah kung wala siyang kamay. Okay. She let go of that ball uh -huh. easily. Axel, the official outfitter of the Shake is really. Good 
Así es como ven. USD trying to hang on here. Francisco will hustle in and replace Menezes for serving duties. A lot of substitution para dito sa Kikuch Kung Fu. Halos wala sa atin na yun, but mukhang si Chanko William lang yung pinasok kanina. But uh, si Coach Tay, no? nag-stick talaga siya with ah. his uh, six. And the Leon scores a new. It is 23-15. I like the attitude of Kung Fu, at least he's not giving up. Two points before it becomes official. There were scary moments with the Lady Eagles, especially in that first set, which was the exciting part of this match. Ateneo winning that 27-25 despite the fact that now now USD at 24-23. Kala ko lusot na USD na. Nice play. Nicely done. Laure still extending it this uh, third set. Twenty-three sixteen. Serve. Aquiliano, Vinalis. Sandoval. Sampal. And USD makes it 23 17. Laure Valdez back row strike and it is match point and good with the help of the net as you see yung mga gigantic <laughs> na mukha niya alay sa daladala ng kanyang mga fans oh man at mag-aantay sa labas pa yan mami oo oh, syempre at uh, masaya ang kanilang paghahantay dahil yep. nakuha ng Ateneo ang panalo. Ba't ang naging problema ng UST talaga ang kanilang reception? And the coaches meet at center court. 25-17 is the final count here in the third. And the Lady Eagles winning 27-25. 25-16, 25-17. Sino na pili natin best player for this game? He's uh, done a phenomenal job pagdating sa opensa, pati na ang uh, ginawa niyang pader ang net eh. So, Actually. With uh, Cristel is uh, Bea De Leon. Yes, Bea, congratulations for winning. During the first set, medyo dikit yung laban. Sa ang parte ba kayo nahirapan? Um, uh, kasi they're very smart they, when they play. Uh, they know how to place the ball, so it's very hard for us to adjust them. There's spikes, especially since na EJ grabbed the process, so hirap na hirap talaga kami magadjust. But uh, you know, champagne in every game talaga adjustment lang talaga in the, in the beginning round. But why did you think Coach Tai stick to the same rotation throughout the whole game? Uh, that's that's kind of his way, yeah. So that none of us would lose confidence, because champagne if you take one out, it's it's kind of a you know nakakasira ng momentum rent for all of us. But uh, yun, I think he just believes in all of us, yun naman. Congratulations, you are our Shakey's player of the game. You will receive a box of pizza from Shakey. Sino ang gusto mong batiin? Happy birthday, Dad. <laughs> Love you. Right, thank you so much and back to you guys. Okay, birthday pa rin ng daddy niya. Nandito yung daddy niya sa likod eh. Ano? In the meantime, uh, Ateneo, out of respect, trying to allow USD to sing their school song. Ano, ha? Uh, huminto sila. But Ateneo already with one 
foot in uh, and they need to win one more game to be able to be in the finals. Yep, and they've been consistent throughout uh, itong ating uh, conference. Ang uh, kita rin naman natin, still undefeated, ano? Yes. At, at this point. Okay, thank you, Anne, Ramul Yacanda, and Cristel Bachelor. We have all the Shake is Willing team, Seb Samantha, here today. Come back very often here in the place where it all started, the Shakey's Believe.